today in Blocksburg, I found a one-star hotel and a five-star hotel on the same exact lot. Then the manager started fighting. All of this seemed really strange and weird, so I decided to investigate. What are these two hotels doing next door to each other? Something doesn't seem right. Oh, he must be the manager from this five-star hotel. He says, well, hello there. I'm gonna say, um, hi, are you? the manager? <gasps> I look like a Karen. Oh no, because I have caps lock on. Oh, I didn't mean it. He says, ha ha, yes I am. Then he says, look like you're in the need of a place to stay. Well, my dude, you got that right. I'm going to tell him I am on vacation. He says, lucky you. We have a great hotel right here. My hotel has a five-star review. Whoa, that's amazing. Hold on. This guy says, hey, was he talking about my hotel? Oh, this dude must run the one-star hotel. Um, I don't think so. Don't believe him, we're great. Would love for you to stay. No, guys, what do I do? Both of these hotel managers want me to stay at their hotel. Fancy hotel manager said, now why would I talk about your dump of a hotel? <gasps> I see. Money bags. Oh no, I really don't want these two to fight. Um, think for it. Oh, wait, hold on. Guys, don't fight. I have an idea. What if I stay at both hotels and then decide which is better? What do you say? <laughs> the fancy rich guy goes, hmm, the other one wants to know who's first. Um, maybe the one star. Yeah, so that way, I'm not gonna tell this guy, but I can get it over with. Hooray! And the fancy guy says, girl, suit yourself, lady. This way, ma'am. All right, I'm following you. Wow, uh, so this is the place, huh? Really, um, unique. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. <laughs> Welcome to the Comfort Cube. Let's get you all settled in at check-in. Okay, it sounds great. Is this hotel usually this quiet? Doesn't really seem like there's anyone here. The five-star hotel across steals my customers. I'm starting to feel kind of bad for this guy. They seem to visit there and never leave. I guess it's really just that good. I'll just give him some reassurance here and say, well, this couch is nice. Carpet seems cozy. <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of great things here. So, mm -hmm, thanks anyways. You wanna see your room? Of course. This one's yours, enjoy the stay. Thank you. Let's see in a, uh, oh. Um, kinda gross. There's trash in here. What do we think? I have to be honest, I'm so sorry, but this place is kinda of gross. Gross, I knew it, I'm so bad at my job. Oh no, no guys, my honesty made him cry. Um, this guy's really having a tough go, but I mean, he could have at least taken the trash out. He says, not your fault, it's my brother's. His hotel steals all my customers in income. I'm so sorry, dude. Don't worry, I'm sure my stay will be real fun. He says, I hope so. He says, quick heads up. I wouldn't spend a night at the five-star hotel? That's really weird. What does that mean? Trust me, kid. Hold on. That was really weird, wasn't it? I'm gonna just shut this door and just check out the rest of my room. What is this, a bathroom? Oh! <gasps> uh, oh! This oh my god! I gotta share a bathroom with the other customers? Oh, that's so weird. Maybe I should just get some rest and continue exploring in the morning. My goodness, rise and shine. I lasted the night and it, it wasn't too scary and there weren't any bed bugs, so that's a plus. But I gotta say, all this scaredness of being in this hotel has made me really hungry. So I wonder if the hotel has like a continental breakfast or something. I wanna go for some pancakes right now. Let's go see. Oh, oh hi there. Good morning. Says, morning, got some breakfast for you right here. Get it while well, it's hot. It's just a bunch of ears of corn. Um, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Looks delicious. I get yum. Thing like some corn first thing in the morning. <laughs> right, people? <laughs> Anything else I can do for you? No, thanks. <laughs> this corn is great. 
great though. It's perfect. He's just gonna eat his string cheese. You know what? I'm just gonna let him know. I'm going to explore. Have a great day. <laughs> Whoa, Ooh, what's going on here? This guy's screaming, I made it out, thank goodness. Um, what's going on? Is everything okay? That hotel over there? The five-star hotel? What's wrong? I'm so glad I escaped. Escaped? Hello? Gotta get out of here? Hey, get back here, hey! That was really weird. I was like, he was scared of this manager, man. Um, hi! Rich guy Richie says, well, hello, we meet again. Say, have you seen someone run by here? Uh, I can't tell him the truth. That guy seemed really scared. So I'm just gonna tell him, nope, just me. Hmm, how unfortunate. It seems one of my valued customers left me. Totally weird. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Well, anyway, how goes your stay at the doctor over there? Um, it's fine. I'm having a good time. It's not a dumpster. It's just not the fanciest hotel. Betty fed you corn for breakfast, huh? Well, uh, yeah, yeah, but it was good. <laughs> You're a strange one. Anywho, I'm sure you'd love the breakfast at my hotel much more. I mean, honestly, people, he's not wrong. I, that corn was kind of overcooked, which I didn't think you could do. But, uh, you know, what's fair is fair. I still have a lot more to check out here. And then I'll be over to your hotel. Fancy hotel guy says, when you're done laughing at that trash heap, we have vacancy over here. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Yo, that guy is so Oh, weird. But I promise I'm gonna give each hotel an equal stay and there's plenty of other things for me to check out here, like the pool. Oh, I'm so excited to go swimming. Woo, woo! Ow, ow, that really hurts. No water in this pool. Great, it's the manager. And he says, oh no, the pool is closed. Well, dude, I can see that. I fell in and hurt myself. Where is the water? We're working on a fundraiser for that sign. I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. That's okay. Wait, hold on. Did you hear that guy who ran out of the five-star hotel? Like, what was that about? Are you talking about escaping? Like, what is up with that hotel? Who knows? Weirdo stole my pool water? They're trying to ruin my business? Well, now it makes sense why the pool's closed. Dude, I'm so sorry. You're doing a great job though. Aw, he says, I appreciate it. I really do. It's just so much all at once. It breaks my heart. I hate seeing people upset and struggling. He says, my brother, the other hotel manager, only cares about money. I'm going to check that place out for myself and see if it's all it's cracked up to be because I have a feeling people that it's not. All he cares about is money, then he doesn't care about being nice. And that's like 50% of running a hotel, I think. He says, good luck. I just hope you make it out. Say what? Nothing, Never mind. Anyways, you have a $10 bill to pay before checkout. $10 for the stay? Now that's a deal. Have you enjoyed your stay at the Comfort Cube? Thank you. I did. I'm gonna go pack my things. I'll catch you later. All right, goodbye, One Star Hotel, and hello, Five Star Hotel. Here goes nothing. Hello there. Ray, you're here. This dude must have been like anxiously awaiting. Hi, yes, checking in, please. Fancy manager man says, I knew you'd change your mind. <laughs> whoa, 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 buddy. Uh, I haven't even stayed here yet. No need, I'm just that confident. All right, buddy, we'll see about that. Hold on, he said, excuse me, just a moment. Whoa, he's shouting, Chester, where are you, Chester? Hope he doesn't mean the big Cheetos cat. That'd be terrifying. It's the bellhop. He said, sorry for the tardiness, sir. How can I service you? Manager said, about time, Chester. Do I need to take away your lunch breaks again? That's what I thought. Is it just me or is it kind of awkward that this dude is getting in trouble with his boss right in front of me? Fair is fair, I guess. Take this lady's luggage to her room right away. Yes, sir, he goes. Oh, um, good. I think I can handle it myself. You heard the Lady Chester scram. Understood, enjoy your stay. I'm gonna be 
nice to this guy because I think he needs it. Thanks, bud. I appreciate it. Now then, where were we? Oh, yes. Allow the manager to give you a tour. It sounds good. <laughs> I have been kind of excited to see this place. This hotel is wicked fancy. Sparkling pool, he goes. Crystal clear spring water. Fancy. Much better than my brother's pool, isn't it? Well, speaking of which, he was really nice. And honestly, I don't see why you gotta be so mean to him. And now he's laughing? You were quite the comedian? Brother is an idiot? <gasps> hey, that's not really nice to say. Nice doesn't get you a fancy hotel like mine anyway. You know what? He says you won't have to worry about seeing him ever again. All right, that's super weird. Um, I think I've had enough of this. Hey, can I see my room? I am tired. Why, of course. But now he's shouting for the bellhop. He says, Chester, where are you, lazy bones? And hey, if your hotel's so popular, I have to ask, where is everyone? You know, like, where are all the people? I don't see anyone hanging out by the pool, and it's like a real nice day. And just, whoa, whoa, uh, hi, Chester. Called, sir. Show the nice lady to her room, please. And that'll be 10 bucks. 10 bucks? I'm sorry, but what? What am I paying $10 for? For Chester to show you to your room? That makes no sense. You charge for that, dude? It's $10 tax not included. So it's like a tip? Chester says, no, it's not. Well, what is the manager saying? He said, listen, lady, this is a rich people hotel. Therefore, rich people have money to spend. Makes sense to me. Guess I'll give you 10 bucks then. Excellent, he goes. Chester says, right this way. Okay, cool. Thank you. Whoa, wait, this is my room? This is so cool. And hey, Chester, sorry about the manager. Oh yeah, don't worry about him. He's always like that. You'll get used to it. Hold on, Chester said word of advice? Don't get caught up in all the fancy stuff. I wouldn't stay here for too long if I was you. I'm gonna ask him why. Everything is not what it seems. Remember that. Wait, the fancy hotel manager is screaming, Chester, where are you? Oh, uh, I think you're in trouble. Oh, gotta go? Okay, now I gotta do more investigating. Honestly, chilling in this room has been so much fun, but I should probably check out the rest of the hotel, right? What should I do? This balcony is sick, people. <gasps> the pool. That's right. On a beautiful summer day like today, I definitely need to check out that pool because uh, our last experience in the waterless pool, not good. Hold on. What the heck? Elevator charge? $10 per use? So you're trying to tell me that every single time you go up and down the elevator, it's $10? So stupid. Let me go change into my bathing suit first. All right, here we are. <gasps> Gonna use the diving board. I'm so excited. The water looks amazing. Woo! <laughs> oh, and the manager's here. He says, well, well, look at you having fun. I'm gonna tell him this pool is awesome. Just to let you know the pool isn't free. Wait, what the heck? You can't be serious. There's a $50 water fee? Okay, I'm getting out. This is ridiculous. You charge for everything. He says, you sound upset. Strange. Customers usually love it. Um, I don't think so, dude. I'm gonna ask him, where are these customers you keep talking about? I'm glad you asked. Is it because my hotel is the best? We specialize in privacy? Isn't that cool? <laughs> Whatever, hope you enjoy it. Thank you kindly. Do you need a towel? Um, I'm good, thanks though. Is there only $5.99? No thanks. I'm all set. Whatever floats your boat. I wonder if I should go talk to this manager's brother across the street at the One Star Hotel. I feel like I need to learn more about this fancy manager guy. He seems like a liar. Okay, back at the One Star Hotel, I need to find the manager. Excuse me, hey, is anyone here? Mr. Manager Guy? V, manager, oh, um, hey, oh my gosh, this girl looks like she's upset. 
What's wrong? Are you okay? No, the manager. They took him? Wait, what are you talking about? The trap fell into their trap? A trap? Wake up, girly. I am awake, lady! She said the five-star hotel is only five stars because the customers never leave? But I left. I was just there. No, 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 you only think you did. So that she's been trying to leave for a year now? What do you mean? Wait, she asked, wait, did you hear that? I think I did. What do you think it is? Hey, I know you're here. It's a fancy hotel manager. You run? Ah, what's going on? Where are we? Ah, what? Oh, no! Crap! Come on, we gotta keep going. Where does this lead us? Scary long hallway with a creepy little rounded door. Normal. Where do you think we are? <gasps> are we at the five star? Put two and two together. Be careful up here. Oh my gosh. No, no. Maybe it's just a, a familiar door, and it's not the one. <laughs> Just leave, huh? Yeah, I did. And where is your brother? You didn't read the fine print. What are you talking about? You went and tried to visit the One Star Hotel over there? There's an automatic thousand dollar fee? You know what, dude? This is banana land. I'm going to my room. Hold on. Not so fast. What do you have to say now? Stay away from my brother. He is crazy town. This is really silly. You know what? I'm going to leave. Oh, you are? You bet I am. You're like the meanest hotel manager ever. That'll be a hundred thousand dollars for the cancellation fee? What? No, 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 I'm sorry. Dude, this is insane. Gotta go to my room. This is crazy. He is just trying to rob me for like all of my money. I won't let this happen believe that they're trying to hit me with a hundred thousand dollar cancellation fee. I'm stuck here for one more day. The manager's a jerk. He's mean to his brother. I know he steals. And now the other manager's missing? Things are not good, people. Things are not good. Maybe I'll just spend my time investigating. So that way I can expose the manager for who he really is. There's gotta be something around here that will explain everything, right? <gasps> Wait, um, it's you. Can I to you? Uh, let's go somewhere less open. You know what? I know what you're up to. Y'all are scammers! It says, shush, keep your voice down? No, you're a scammer! I'm not a scammer, the manager is. I knew we'd find something. What is the deal with the One Star Hotel? Where is the manager? To settle in, this is a long one. Spill the tea. So the manager of the One Star is actually a really good dude. It was his mean brother who came in and took possession of the business and he started scamming the second he took over. He stole from his brother and clients. The One Star manager was captured because he was trying to expose this whole operation? <gasps> For real? And then he says, yes, my boss is a bad, bad man. Haven't you noticed the insane upcharges? Well, it's kind of hard not to. Of course I have. But dude, where are all these guests? I don't see a single person around. They're trapped. <gasps> no, there was something crazy. I'm going to expose this craziness. Red lightly. <gasps> the manager's in the chat! This is just there someone had an accident in the pool and I'm not cleaning it? Oh no! <laughs> Oh, gotta go. Wait, Chester! Chester! Guys, I'm starting to get really worried. I get trapped too. You just, you gotta play it cool. Okay, all this keeping it cool is making me really, really hungry. So finally go to the dining room and have some food. Wait, hold on. What does this sign say? $200 a plate? Who can afford that? Especially in a hotel that's charging you for literally everything. I'm shocked they're not charging me to use their air. <gasps> Don't say it out loud, Britt. That'd be next. Hold on, the chat's popping off. Fancy hotel manager. Oh, seems like he's screaming. Let's go from over here. Is that guy still not made a billion dollars yet? Charge more? No. You gave me a three-star review? Big idea? Wow, okay, he's really mad. 
<gasps> Wait, oh no. You heard me because he's a new idea. We charge them for air. I need to think of something. I need to get that manager out of his office because I'm sure that's where he's hiding his evil little secrets. So I'm gonna knock on the door and whoop! Oh, hello! OMG, you won't believe it. I'm in the middle of a very important business planning. What is it? Someone stole a plate of food! He's really mad, he says, they what? Yeah, brand possible. I should tell him you should go get them, right? Yeah, everyone pays here? That's what I thought, bud. This is absolutely give me my money, thief. Okay, he's out of here. Now I'm gonna hop on his computer and hack his security cameras. <gasps> A bunch of people locked up in cells with computers? Oh, he's definitely trapping people under this hotel. Hold on. His brother! I found him! But I think he's locked in a separate room. Okay, I think this is the room. Hello? <gasps> oh my gosh! There you are! Hey! Hey, so you figured it all out, huh? Kinda, sorta. But come on, tell me, what is actually going on here? He says, you see, I used to own a five-star hotel before my brother drained my account. That stinks. How does this hotel have five stars? My brother traps people into these outlandish prices and then literally traps them so they cannot leave an accurate review. <gasps> so this really isn't a five star hotel then, huh? Nope, just an illusion. I can't eat a trap in more tourists. And now the one star manager is saying he's stolen so much money from me and his customers, he gets to live carefree. So that is evil at the next level. Okay, we have to free those customers and get the money back. No, he said, you see, I tried that already. That's why I'm here to begin with. I need your help. Where are people trapped? I'm sure you know. Uh, I think so. Let me get you out. Okay, awesome. Let's go free them. Come on, we gotta sneak out. Hold up. <gasps> oh wait, you hear that too? Sure, he isn't checking the security cameras first. Good call. Oh no! It's the fancy manager. He said, "Did I just hear something? Who's out there? If I get caught, it'll be ten x worse than now." Locked me up and stole my money. Well, run quick to the elevator. Poor Pete says, "You know, there's a secret room here. Just can't find that door." <gasps> Let me help. I'm usually good at finding secret doors. Pardon me. Oh wait, I found it. Nice. <gasps> Oh my gosh, hey, OMG, please help us? Of course, thank you so much, no problem. That awful man stole all my money, so I wrote a bad review. When I went to take a shower, I fell down a trap door, no way. Whoa, well, you're safe now. And the one star manager says, yep, that sounds like my brother. You gave him all the money you got and then he still trapped you because of the bad review. Forced me to change it to your hotel? Brother is mad, he says that rat. Even when I did, he kept me here. One star manager, if you let everyone else out, I will get us back up. Will you stop that horrible man? Way ahead of ya. Oh my gosh, yes, there you are! I've been waiting for you! Hey, Brent, what the heck is up with this place? This crazy guy tried to get me to sign a contract to stay here. <laughs> So you've met the manager already. Yeah, he's a weirdo. Look at this place. A hundred bucks to stand in the lobby? What the heck, man? Okay, so so we have to expose him for everything that he's done. Don't worry, Bestie. I'll arrest him once we get proof. Oh, don't you worry, Bestie. We already got the proof. <laughs> yeah, now that's what I like to hear. Great job, Britt. Come on. Let's go talk to the manager this way. Hey, crazy manager man! Open up the door! We have a bone to pick with you. Because what is it? Each question is $500, so you better be ready to pay. You know what? No. We know what you've done. Everyone is free, and now you will pay. Excuse me? And then I told him, loser! Now come out the room so we can talk like adults, pipsqueak. Also, you're under arrest. Is panic, how can you do this? You ruined everything? Sorry. You are under arrest, buddy. <laughs> Wait a sec. What about that?
Oh, I don't like the sound of that, Sophie. Uh, neither do I. Bye-bye. Just get him! Hey, wait! No, you get back here! Whoa, brother! Did you escape, he asked? The brother says, don't worry about me. Put your hands behind your back. You are under arrest. And don't try anything funny, mister. Oh, yeah. So much for this five-star hotel.